I'm listening to Jerry Reed, and I've known each of these songs from listening to you. Thank you for introducing me to several new music genres. Mm. Well, I wanna, wanna lose you. So, right? Because I'm always dicking around with weirdo music here. And I, Jerry Reed and I go way back to when I was in diapers. And my parents would play Jerry Reed because when I could barely walk, I would dance. Mm-hmm. When they would put Jerry Reed on the turntable. Were you like Forrest Gump? Like swinging your in hips. In so they, many ways, have, I like, was. Yeah, still am. on your legs. I like, I like that guitar sound. I didn't do that. No, okay. No, didn't do that. But uh, my mom would tell me stories later on about how they'd put Jerry Reed on and I would... Dance around. Crinkle around and dance. Yeah, so there you go. Thanks, Dave. Um, Alan, I did that hooker for a night thing. <laughs> Prostitute for an hour thing. Guy offered $200 and I said, well, you'll see how $500 is worth an hour. And so I got 500 beforehand, and I also told him that I set a timer on my phone that would call 911 in 55 minutes if I didn't turn it off with a passcode. I was totally lying. Mm-hmm. And he finished in 30 minutes, and I got to go home with $500. Oh, $600, I guess Ooh, he tipped. nice. <clears throat> there you totally go. Totally tipped. What a 20%. gentleman. Gentleman. Industry standard. Well, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, really nice, isn't it? And that's the thing, too. Yeah, once a guy, you know, you get done, they're like, well... You can go. I don't need you to stay the whole hour. Well, that's where the talking yeah. comes in because some guys... They might be real lonely. Or, or mm-hmm. they want their money's worth. They're like, oh, yeah. I'm, you're going to be here an hour. Alan, thanks. You just ruined Chalupa's forever. <laughs> that would be me. Don't, yeah, that's yeah, okay. okay. Uh, he, he Actually, is Mary. Takes it as a point yeah, of pride to ruin a lot of things. Yeah. Number seven is a chicken quesadilla and a hard taco. A he po- said number five. I said number five. Mm. And it's not a point of pride, but like... People are easily offended. I don't know what to tell you. Is that true? <laughs> People are easily offended? Yeah. Or that pound cake doesn't know what to tell you. Well, no. Is it true, though? <laughs> I'd say both. Yeah. yeah. We, 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 we all love to say people are easily offended, but, like, what is that scale? I mentioned that I would... People only say that other people are easily offended when people don't like something you say. I just said people I would... People go, yeah, people are easily offended. There, all right. But, like, I think the statement we don't really is know there that. are people that are easily offended. But he's so attributing people. all people. But yeah. he's attributing it to what he said. I just said I would throw it back for a chalupa. Like, and people <laughs> act like it's such a big deal. Well, that's just because now every time they try and order a chalupa, they're going to be thinking about you. My golden cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> My caramel complected peen. That's what you're going to be thinking about. I'm sorry. Go- How do they get to be golden? Because I have golden cheeks. Golden. What does that mean? You know, caramel and gold are two separate. Colors. Yeah, are you are you are you saying that you have a miscolored ass? No, they're golden. Yes, it's like Midas. But your skin tone is not gold. Guess you have to see my cheeks. I've been told they're golden. But why? I, I don't <laughs> think that they mean the actual color when they tell you that. I think that they mean that you know. I don't know what to tell you. Like wow. Like I said. <laughs> so someone has said to you, "You've got golden cheeks." Yep. Wow. Then you think you'd be getting your your value meals from McDonald's, the golden arches. Golden arches for golden cheeks, yeah. But I don't like McDonald's. If they ask, if they say I can make a request, I'm gonna say Taco Bell. But then I. <laughs> well, you could have asked for money. Yeah, we were all <laughs> like, talking about money. Yeah, we're all talking about money, and you are the one that put it in fast food terms. Yeah, but if you give me money, then I feel like a whore. If you give me a meal, at least I feel like all right. It I'm was just, like that a was a situation. <laughs> it's that it's it was a whore situation. <laughs> you were putting out there how much it would cost each of us to have sex to be a whore. For money. Mm-hmm. Yes, I don't want to feel like that. And you don't want to feel like that, so you said a, five, a number five, number five from Taco yeah. Bell to get into those golden cheeks <laughs> <laughs> or around whatever your preference is. Mm-hmm. Golden cheeks. So I'm sorry, sir. Sounds like a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Golden cheeks buffet. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> Some people allegedly say that there's razor blades and candy. You know, every Halloween mm-hmm. they go, there was razor blades and candy. And some guy in Connecticut, they picked up and they arrested him for putting razor blades in the candy that he handed out. And so some parents and neighbors were aghast, of course, because they know the guy and they can't believe this happened. And on Halloween or Friday, I guess, people were texting me. They're like, they found razor blades and candy out in North Olmsted. I'm like, how would you hide a razor blade in a piece of candy? Well, I mean, if it's like the... So say you're even doing it in a full size. 
You have to open the candy so carefully, put the razor blade in it, recover it in chocolate, and then reseal the package. I like, could see putting a needle in something because that opening is going to be so small you might not even <laughs> Good check idea. It. Put that out there. <laughs> oh, I'm sure I'm, no one's thought of that before. Yeah. But the razor blades. Needles, not razor blades. That's what Alan says. Needles and apples. You know, I mean, you could see that. Yeah, give me an apple. I'm throwing it right back at your house. Oh, you don't like apple? I mean, I like an apple, but not on Halloween. Yeah, but you figure your bag's going to have so much candy. Somebody gives you an apple, you go, oh, okay. No. Nah. If they were all handing out one apple in a bag of candy, makes don't you mad? Don't you give me an apple. Raisins. Really? Raisins are even worse. Ooh, raisins. People give out raisin, little box of raisins. Huh. Mm -hmm. All right. A buddy of mine said that he was handing, <laughs> that every year he hands out eggs with addresses on them of people he doesn't like. <laughs> and if the kids take a video of themselves throwing the matching egg to the address against the window, they get two full-size candy bars. <laughs> so he sends them out to do his work for him. Mm -hmm. They egg the house. And it's like a Halloween prank. They don't think anything of it. But if they match the egg to the address and send him, a sh like record it of them egging the house and come back, he'll give them two full-size And full -size put the video candy where? Bars. No, just to show him. Just as proof. Hey, right. we did it. Then they have to come back bars. and show, like, hey, I we did this. Yeah. Yeah, but if they get it's caught, you've numbers. got a I dozen like, kids that will get caught. I think that's like a felony all... or a misdemeanor, at least. Yeah, you get a dozen kids going back to your house right. when Has somebody gets pinched. Yeah. He said he's done it before. He's done it a few years in a row. I, th I laughed so hard. I was like, please tell me that's real. He goes, yeah, I could probably get in trouble for it, but. Boy, who knows that many of their neighbors, let alone knowing you don't like them? I don't know. This guy knows every neighbor on his street. It could only be three eggs. I have no idea. Wow. I didn't ask a lot of follow-up questions. I thought it was really, And some really funny people though. have real crappy neighbors. Who knows three neighbors? People who are home more than one hour a day? I definitely had one neighbor that I would have done this to back in the day. Yeah. That was like, who I didn't or it like could that be, I guess it could be multiple eggs with the same address on it. Yeah. Like, you hate them the five eggs worth? So yeah. <laughs> you know, you had all Five those. eggs worth. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Take just, this over to Mr. Egg, Eggsworth's house. <laughs> Mr. Eggsworth. <laughs> throw this on his... Uh, here's the, the neighbors here. I'm really shocked. I can't believe it. I said, oh my God, little children. Thank goodness no children were hurt. Thank goodness the parents were out there with the children and monitoring. I just can't see them doing it. I live in about five, six years. I've never seen one bad thing ever come from him. And I hope this never happens to any other child. For some reason, I just don't see him doing that on purpose. Yeah, anyway. I, I, How do you do it on accident? I thought I heard the guy. The, the guy goes, "Oh, uh, my razor blades got mixed in somehow with the candy." I'm like, "Your razor blades got mixed in." Wait, you got does a he mean box like of razor blades? Razor blades in the candy bowl, so when they go to grab it, it gets their hands. Putting razor blades in the candy. I don't know. Razor blades got mixed in. Who's buying razor blades? I mean, maybe an old dude in Connecticut somewhere. Yeah, but he's not like an old guy either. He was 37. Was he? Yeah. And when I think of Some this... Some people like that close single blade shave. I, Boy, I mean, like, I prefer multiple blades on mine. But. Mm -hmm. I think of like box like cutters. <laughs> I forget, actually. Yeah. I can't recall. Any kind of remember probably. around like January or February. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling that my memory will be jogged at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. But right now, it escapes me. What did you... What, exacto knife? I think of that, like a box cutter, where you can like slip yeah. it up. Yeah, and like that's that, what yeah. it is, right? Those little... They're like two inches, three Those, inches. That's one kind, mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I picture when people say razor blades and candy. Okay. Not the, the old-timey single shick blades that would go in the handle to shave with? I don't know what that looks like, I don't think. Oh, you're so cute. Thank you. You don't know what old single razor blades look like? I think we're thinking of the same thing. Oh. No, They're no, like no, a you're... square. Well, They're yeah, like I mean, little silver, like that, like... like Yes, yeah. a couple of holes in them. Yeah, the, yeah, two little holes. But X-Acto knives have like those, and box cutters have those angles. they like break off. Yeah, too. they're like shaped like a trapezoid. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Hmm. This is not exactly what we're thinking of. But Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's similar. Somehow we'll all meet in the middle, mm -hmm. I firmly believe. That there shouldn't be any of these things in candy? Yeah, probably. Probably. Hey, I have a trip to Ve uh, Vegas. Quit it with that. <laughs> Los Angeles. We send so many people to so many places. Los mm -hmm. Angeles. Present company excluded. Mm -hmm. That it's hard to keep track. <laughs> Our Alter Ego Festival is at the Forum in L.A. in January. Sold out. You only have two trips a day. This is your second of two, so make it count. Good luck. Hey, it's Rover. Time for your shot at a trip to our iHeartRadio Alter Ego now. Text the nationwide keyword ALT to the number 200-200. You'll get a confirmation text and info, standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's ALT to the number 200-200. Good luck from 100.7 WMMS. 
I think a great name for a band would be Sucker Punch Jesus. That's a great name for a band. Yeah. I was reading a story about a dude dressed as Jesus on Halloween who sucker punched a cop. Oh, Ooh, man. That's not very Christ-like. In San Diego. And I was like, sucker punch Jesus. Did that's the cop turn the other cheek? He did not. <laughs> that would have been the way to Knocked do it. Knocked him out cold. <laughs> you said it, man. Nobody f- with the Jesus. And that's right. Uh, yeah. No, they're... Um, so wait, uh, the cop got knocked out cold or the cop knocked out Jesus? The after cop got, got knocked, knocked out. Knocked the cop out. No. In San Diego, yeah. about one in the morning, a uh, guy dressed as Jesus, very upset, uh, because he got uh, ejected from a nearby bar, and he uh, cold cocked the guy in the face. Mm. He WWJD, fled. WWJD, I guess he's throwing hands. <laughs> yeah. He fled on foot, and he remains at large. Yeah, we can run across water. You yeah, you're not chance. catching that guy, man. So, um... A white guy, so he didn't nail every detail of Jesus, mm. who, of course, was black. Uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? It's San Diego. It's an aggressively white town. Literally. But I just love uh, the thought of sucker punch Jesus. There's nothing like getting loose in the whale's vagina. <laughs> San Diego. San Diego. Yeah, San there you Diego. go. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, can I talk to Drunk Sue? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Baby. Hi, Drunk Sue. How are you, dear? Hi, how are you? What's going on? Um, I have a confession to make to you, Alan. Okay. And I'm really sorry, baby, but there's something I needed and I wanted. And I had to go around your back. What? Did you accept $500 I call, I from someone Robert's for... Morning wh- Glory. I called Robert's Morning Glory because I wanted to get that dumb shirt. Why are you apologizing okay. to me? You're allowed to do that. I don't own you. No, you don't own me. But I feel it honor to you because you always let me on. <laughs> oh, well, not always, but... <laughs> you don't have to apologize to me for calling Rover. I don't care. That's a funny shirt, too. Uh, guess what, though? I got the t-shirt. Hey, what's I the shirt? In my hands yet. Huh? What's the shirt? Dumb. Got cheated. Got caught cheating on his wife. It's the shirt that says you know, "dumb cheated oh, on his wife." Okay, prostitute. Gotcha. And he did it in Vegas. But it was a one-day only sale, and some of my other wait. So you won it or you bought it? Listeners, no, they heard about it later in the day. I gave up because I don't get on the internet. I told you. What? But wait, you, you, wait, 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 wait. I told you. So uh-huh. wait, 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 wait. So you called in to win the shirt or you bought a shirt? I wanted to buy a shirt, but I didn't want to get on the internet. Oh. I don't know how. You don't know how to... They're selling these shirts? They was only one day only. Wow. On Friday morning. Shows a merch machine. Mm-hmm. So I got... I called Rover. I'm like, well, can I just make a phone call and uh, use my bank card? You know what I mean? Nope. One day only on the internet only. I'm like, oh, crap. That sucks. So you don't okay. ever spend time on the internet? Ever. Never, ever. That big brother looking down at you, bro. Yeah, but he could just as easily be tracking your phone calls to me. Well, that's entirely true. You ain't concerned about big alcohol. That's a lot less. It's not like I'm taking selfies and all that kind of putting my business on. Boy, I wish you would. Um, You know, I took a selfie with you, and I had no uh, negative repercussions from that. I know, and that was wonderful. I was so excited when I saw that you did that. Yeah. Well, sure. It's very exciting to be in a photo with me. You were there. (laughs) Yeah, you were there. I saw you do it, Alan. (laughs) Yeah, you were in the photo. It was my head next to yours, right in the frame. She looked at the photo. She's like, oh my gosh, he took a picture with Drunk Sue. I know. (laughs) All right, well, uh, how how long until the shirt comes? Don't you ever forget where my loyalties lie. That's just fine, Sue. Uh, you know, we wouldn't have even known if you hadn't called and told yeah, us. And I don't have shirts for you, yeah. so one, uh, no one, uh, no surprise. What? Uh, how long? Can you send me a couple more stickers? Because the tailgate of my truck fell off. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should be drinking and driving. The tailgate fell off. Well, it, it wasn't problem. hanging on too good. What, did you have it just bungeed or what? How ratchet. Well, right now, it, the... The, yeah, I got a bad friend. Uh huh. All right. Well, listen. I'll uh, I'll I'll send you some stickers, Sue. You gotta send me a couple more stickers. Okay? All right. <laughs> He's not gonna hold it up, Sue. 
That's, yeah, she's just got it taped up with Alan Cox Show stickers. <laughs> it's paste. Gary, Bill, I'm going to need you to send me 4,000 stickers mm-hmm. so I can uh, get this tailgate back on my truck. <laughs> Paper mache car. Okay, go- thank you, Sue. I uh, love you. Oh, I love you, too. Be mm-hmm. careful out there and uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Was she calling to apologize to us for calling a different show? I feel like she was. She called to tell me she was sorry, and that's She's fine. I don't out. care. Yeah, She's a that's loyal good. Lady. I don't have uh, uh, T-shirts to sell, so uh, but where the action is. We do work with the CLE Clothing Company. Which what's the new? Uh, oh, turkey. Turkey. No, no. It wasn't harvest. 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 That's right. Yeah, harvest. harvest is the word this month. Yeah. Um, okay. A break. I'm going to have WWE 2K20 for you if you play that game. Uh, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. And I'll have uh, one to hand off to you when we return. 35192 if you want to text. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And it-